how many terms of the AP 63, 60, 57 must be taken so that their sum is 693. So here the series is 63, 60, 57 so on. In this the first term is 63. Common difference is like A2 minus A1. Second term is 60 minus 63 which is minus 3. So common difference is minus 3. First term is 63. The total sum of n terms. See sum of n terms is 693. How many terms they'll add? So that the result is 693 is the question. Now SN formula if you'll write n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d equals 693. Now substitute the values of a and d. n by 2, 2a which is 63 plus n minus 1 into d is minus 3 equals 693. Now n by 2, 2 into 63 is 126 minus 3 into n minus 3 n minus into minus plus 3 is 693 this two if I'll cross multiply here so n into 126 plus 3 129 minus 3 n equals 693 times 2 n into 129 is 129 n minus 3 n into n is 3 n square 693 times 2 693 if you multiply with 2 you will get 1386 next if you will write in a standard form 3 n square first n square and it is positive so I am taking these two terms towards right side 3 n square this plus 129 will become minus 129 n plus 1386 equals 0. Now here in this you can take 3 common. If you take 3 common n square minus 3 4 12 3 plus here 3 4 12 18 3 6 3 2. So 3 if I say another side 0 by 3 which is 0. So you are left with the equation like n square minus 43 n plus 460 2 equals 0. Now I have to factorize this one. So n square minus 43 n plus 462. So 1 into 462 you will get like 462. 462 prime factors you do it. Do you see you need to get the product if it's add or subtract we need to get 43. So 231. 3 7 and 7 11 now with the help of these factors you will see here see 11 into 7 77 into 6 not possible 2 into 3 6 6 into 7 42 42 11 not possible to get 43 so take this 3 3 into 7 21 2 into 11 22 21 22 21 and 22 you will get the factors so n square minus 21 n minus 22 n plus 462 equals 0 here n if you take common n into n minus 21 minus 22 will take common n minus 21 n minus 21 into n minus 22 equals 0 n minus 21 equals 0 n minus 22 equals 0 so here you are getting n equals 21, n equals 22. Here see both the answers are like positive. So do we need to take both? Here in this case, yes you need to take both. Sometimes they will ask this question as explain the double answer. See both the answers. Now if you will find a21, a21 which is a plus 20 d. a is 63 plus 20 into d is minus 3 so 63 minus 60 
so which is 3 now once try to find a 22 a plus 21 D a plus 21 D which is nothing but 63 plus 21 into minus 3 63 minus 63 which is 0 see if you'll observe 22nd term is 0 so that's why if you add 21 terms you'll get 693 if you add 22 terms also you'll get 693 so here number of terms like either 21 or 22